This is great. Um, when I talked to Susan Jones uh, earlier today, she told me that the event was going to be tented. And I thought to myself, there's like a 10% chance of rain here. You know? <laughs> Welcome to Miami, right? All right. Um, let me start off, first of all, by, again, uh, thanking all of the fellow contributors who just so generously gave to this project and made this vision come true. Uh, just a wonderful collaboration, and obviously uh, it needed every bit of it for this to come together. So thank you very, very much for it. Uh, I'd also like to recognize my wife, Chris, uh, who's here with me today, who, uh, who said to me on the way here, you'd do anything to be like Chris. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, my daughter, Tracy, and her husband, Justin, and Todd's girlfriend, Gina, who's here today. <laughs> what a great, great uh, weekend with the family, so that's been wonderful as we move forward. And... Uh, let me just uh, start off uh, by also uh, thanking uh, Todd for partnering up with me on this. Uh, the way our family trust works uh, foundation is that everybody really can make their own decisions. And when I came to Todd uh, with this idea and with this proposal, it didn't take him a nanosecond to say, what do we got to do? He's been a Canes fan. He was born a Canes fan. So he's... Uh, it was, it was all too happy to jump in and get involved, so thank you, Todd, for uh, joining me. <laughs> uh, through some crazy uh, series of events growing up in Chicago, uh, you know, back in the, uh, the early 70s, uh, just getting totally tired of hearing about Notre Dame over and over and over and over again. <laughs> The University of Miami was the antidote to Notre Dame for me growing up. I needed it so bad. And one day I'm just watching television. I have no clue what's going on. And I see the Miami Hurricanes on television in Chicago. And it's in the old Orange Bowl with the palm trees by the scoreboard and the helmets and the U and everything else. And I found my team. That was when I found my team, you know, as a young man. Uh, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, and the, uh, the University of Miami to me, you know, uh, and the way the program came together. You know, when I first found the University of Miami, it was more about how could they have football in this wonderful climate with all these cool colors and everything else. But, of course, as I, I came to, uh, as time came to be, uh, the Miami Hurricanes became much, much more uh, for me. They really became symbolic of everything that Chris and I believe in. Giving, uh, and as Chris has, has done so wonderfully, you know, with uh, all of the people that are involved in the nursing school and health education center. Our family believes in giving opportunity to young people who wouldn't have that opportunity, but young people that are willing to set high standards and go after those high standards and have the courage and the conviction to back them up. And that's what's really always appealed to me about this wonderful place. I mean, the University of Miami, for me growing up, was a combination of Muhammad Ali and uh, Rocky Graziano or whatever. You know, I mean, uh, you know, Rocky Marciano, excuse me. Growing up, they were confident, they set the highest standards, and they backed it up. And to me, that was really, really inspiring and something that was exciting to me as I grew up. And as Todd said, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Todd has been a Canes fan basically since he was born. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dad. Thank you for that introduction. Yeah. Appreciate it. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, and, uh, you know, the elements here are a little, a little rough, but we're going to get through it, and this is a great day for the University of Miami. Um, so as my dad mentioned, I grew up a Canes football fan in the 80s and 90s, and I was fortunate enough to experience uh, five national championships and uh, Bernie is in the crowd today. That makes me very happy with part of one of them. So that's, that's great. Thank you for coming, Bernie. It's awesome. Um, we were always drawn, as my dad mentioned earlier, to the winning ways, the attitude, and the spirit of the school of Miami. Uh, some people today like to call that swagger. Uh, as I got older, my family started to get more involved 
uh, with the university, I was able to see firsthand how the quality and excellence, not only in athletics, but also in academics and innovation. When my dad was originally, when he originally came to me with the idea, as he mentioned, I, uh, it, was, it was a quick decision for me. Um, the idea of the project was uh, very intriguing. I was, uh, I, was, I was thinking not only can I be engaged uh, you know, with the athletics, but also I can make better for the, uh, the student athletes and the academics. And uh, as, uh, as this project has progressed, uh, it's, been, it's been great to see all of other people in the community and in the athletics uh, community, you know, support this and get behind us. And uh, this is going to really carry on the legacy um, of the University of Miami. And I'm really proud to announce the groundbreaking of the Schwartz Center for Athletic Excellence. So thank you very much. We got this uh, little repartee thing going. Uh, just, you'll bear with me just another <laughs> couple of minutes. Sorry, I don't uh, um, kind of. Uh, anyway, so you know, just you know, kind of where we are today. When this this whole thing came to me, and when I got introduced uh, to Miami athletics and Miami football, uh, we got involved in a way that really wanted to help make a difference. You know, it was something that appealed to us. It was something that had resonated with us for some time. And this thing really has started to come together recently, uh, I think. And I think it started to come together with some of the great coaches and administrative staff, you know, that have come into this thing. Uh, I'll start off with uh, kind of the, the new uh, football coach, Al Golden. Um, Al Golden, uh, I believe, will go down in this great legacy of coaches as one of the great, great coaches of all time and in Miami history. I'm so glad we have him here. You know, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, the first time I got introduced to Al Golden was by Kirby on the telephone when I was getting kind of a courtesy briefing as Paul and Bernie and were looking for a coach, right? And they were out there. And I don't think I got, by the way, Anything that anybody else didn't have, but it was it felt good to have the athletic director call you up, you know, and say what you can read in the blogs, you know. It's <laughs> okay, you know. It was good. I was I was happy. So he started going through. They started going through the. He started going through the candidates for me. He went through all the candidates, and then he got down to Al Golden, and I was listening intently as he described each candidate. I had never seen a picture of Al Golden. Didn't know what the guy looked like. Didn't know anything about him. And when he talked to me about Al Golden in the interview and Al's plan that he brought to the interview, which now has become legend, you know, how prepared he was, how focused he was, and talked to me about his track record, you know, over at Temple, I, I just remember saying to him, I said, boy, that sure sounds like your guy to me. You know, I don't, I don't have a vote here, but boy, that sounds like your guy, you know. And then I was, of course, uh, really happy to hear that they had selected Al just based on what I had heard. And I got the, uh, the pleasure of picking up Alan Kelly in Philadelphia and bringing him here for the press conference. So I show up at this FBO on a cold, snowy day in Philly, you know, typical Philly day, and they're sitting there, you know, ready to go, packed, organized, our Alan Kelly. And I take a look at Al, I can immediately see he was a big, uh, you know, uh, handsome, you know, football player looking guy, but when you first look at Al, the first thing that caught me were those eyes, those fiery eyes, man. I'm like, I'm just saying to myself, yeah, you know, as I walked down the plane, all right, you know. And we sat on the ride in, uh, back to Miami. Al was cordial. He made conversation. Uh, and it was really kind of cool to watch him, though, but you could see he was really focused on what was ahead. And Kelly took her shoes off and walked around the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I can see, man, what a, what a team they are, you know. His beautiful wife, you know. We just got a laid back, and I could see how well they complement each other. That was really a nice thing. And just before we landed, when we got to Miami, you could see Al getting his game ready. It's, I'm sure he's done many times before playing football and coaching football. You know, his tie and his suit coat, you know, were in the closet, and you could just see him really getting prepared. And I believe he's brought that type of preparation and that type of leadership and winning, you know, to the University of Miami. So... I'm really, really happy. That's tremendous that this all happened in concert, and we're really glad about that. And, of course, 
uh, then his, his complement joined uh, shortly thereafter when Sean Icors joined the team. And Donna said, I'm bringing in a guy that's young, he's hungry, and he has a plan. And, I mean, that's essentially what she said to me. This is the kind of guy, you know, that we could really ride into the future with. So, so very, very glad that we've got Sean here to ride into the future as we go together. So thank you, you know, for that as well, you know. I'll just round this up. I saw Katie. Katie Meyer, she got here? Hi, Katie. All right, yeah, I don't know. I know that Jim's here, our, our baseball guy. I just want to acknowledge all the other coaches and sports that are represented today. If you guys would just stand for a second or just wave, you know, and take a bow and, you know, yeah. Because, I mean, this is, this after all, you know, about uh, you athletics, not just about football. And uh, let me just close by saying uh, that this is a wonderful chapter. We've got a wonderful team. And the thing about uh, our coaches here, and Al and Sean in particular, is they understand how to bring the past, the legacy, the great things about the University of Miami forward while moving us to the next chapter of U athletics. Because that combination of bringing the past, bringing the culture, celebrating the winning tradition, and going forward with the leadership, the giving spirit, and all the wonderful people that have been involved with the University of Miami will take us to the next place, the place we really need to go to for the future of University of Miami athletics. So thank you all very much. All right, We're you. just wonderfully happy to be a part of this. What better... Uh, speech to than two people that want to give their money and be happy about it. <laughs> and we're keeping that in mind, by the way, Ted. These are, this, this is a great family, and uh, we ought to be proud at the University of Miami that they're connected up with us. They have not only done athletics, but they've done the uh, students, the uh, center over at the uh, nursing home, named for Christine, which is a place that she went at the university. This is a great family, and we should be proud of them and what they've done and, and hope to do in the future for us. But let me tell you something. We have great coaches here. Al is one of the leaders, but every one of the coaches, I think, are outstanding at this program. We have got the greatest bunch of coaches that you could ever have, and I'm proud to say they are part of the University of Miami. You know, in order to win at a program, you must have athletes, but you've got to have great coaching and great persons, people who can lead those people, not only in teaching them what to do, but be academically able to finish the year and finish their tuition and get their money into this program so that when they graduate, they can give back to us. And that's something all athletes should think about. This is a free ride for four or five years, $250,000 for some of them. And they ought to think about coming back to this university and giving back, which a lot of them have. But thank God we have got a great group of coaches to lead us to the future. And with these people, this university, just like it has gone academically, will go back to where it was back in the 80s and 90s. It will be back at the top eventually. Be patient. Don't rush our coaches. They know what they're doing, believe me. You've been very patient with all our coaches so far. Just stay there. It's very, very difficult to put a program back together when we've gone down like we had. But we're going to get there. I know with the leadership that they have, they will do it. In closing, I want to thank Ted and Christine Todd once again on behalf of our 400-plus student athletes and the entire Miami Hurricanes family. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for joining us today. This is the beginning of many great things to come. I invite all of you to enjoy the refreshments inside the tent. And go Canes! Yeah.